Um, can you please state your name for the camera? My name is Don Jerry Miller. Right. And what have you brought to share with us at the harvest today? I brought a number of photographs, old newspapers, artifacts from the Sunbury and Sealands Grove area. Um, and what do you have there, if you don't mind telling us about it? Well, I have here initial, this first photograph is a photograph of Westinghouse, a Westinghouse manufacturing plant that was located in Sunbury. And it, uh, it shows the river rising and uh, starting to engulf part of the Westinghouse plant. It's an aerial photograph, and it was taken by my father, who was a pilot, who uh, flew out of Sunbury Airport and Sealands Grove Airport at the time. Um, do you know the year on that photo? It were, this would have been around 1940, I believe. It was, it was a minor flood. It wasn't a major flood like the flood of 1932 or 36. 36. This was a minor flood, fortunately, for Sunbury. And, and your father took that photo? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. What about the other photos that you have? The other photographs I found among my, my father's effects, he's since passed on. But uh, studying the photograph, it looks to me like it depicts a 1928 to 1930 Buick. Uh, and its, it's driver, um, according to the inscriptions on the signs, its driver uh, has promised, as part of an endurance trial, to drive for a continuous 100 hours in this car. And it shows a number of commercial sponsors in, this, in the Sunbury and Sealands Grove area. Uh, I don't know how he made out on the endurance trial, but... Uh, that's okay. Um, and why did you decide to bring these items with you? Well, I heard of this, this uh, historical uh, gathering of memorabilia sponsored by Susquehanna University, and uh, I just wanted to uh, in some way preserve some of the artifacts that I have because after I'm gone, I don't know what's going to happen to them. Definitely, I completely understand. Um, so I know that your father took the aerial photo of the flood, hmm. but the other two photos of the endurance trials, do you know how your family acquired those? No, I don't. I wish I, knew, I did, but I do not. Okay. Um, what do these items tell us about Sunbury's history? Like, how do they relate to Sunbury's history, in your opinion? Well, I, I was born, I was born, actually, I was born in Danville, but that's only because the hospital was there. There was no Sunbury Hospital at the time. Right. So I was raised in Sunbury up until the age of 10 when we moved away. Um, and Sunbury, as I remember, it was a, a quaint, vibrant town at the time. Um, I've got a lot of pleasant memories of, of growing up in my earlier years here in Sunbury. And uh, uh, I just remember how wholesome the town was, and it means a lot to me. Um, if you had to tell us one thing about Sunbury and Sunbury's history, um, what would it be? Like your favorite thing about Sunbury. My favorite thing. Uh, I remember when I, I would be able to, uh, on a Saturday morning, I would be able to leave my house and go out and play all day anywhere in Sunbury and be back in time for supper and no one would worry about me. Uh, it, the world is different now. That doesn't happen now, and that's one of the more pleasant things that I remember.